Good morning, Urban. What do we have here? Looks like we've got a crime on our hands. Let's take a closer look. Based on the temperature of her body the forensics team took earlier, it seems she's been dead for about 24 hours. You smell that? It's a really strong vanilla scent. I do smell that. Oh, look what I found here. It's a cell phone. <laughs> we can use that. Let's bring it back to Elma and Leon. here. Erebin has finally cracked the password on the victim's phone. It appears Enda and Ratignol were best friends and they were hanging out the day that she was murdered. Do you think Ratignol has something to do with the murder? Definitely. Definitely. Let's, Let's go, go and check it out. This girl? Yes. How do you know her? She's my best friend. Well, I'm sorry to share with you, but she was found dead yesterday. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Edna was found dead? Wait, wait, what? How did she die? I'm so sorry for your loss, but she's a victim in a murder we're investigating. Uh, oh my god! What was the last conversation you had with her? Uh, well, the other night we went to the mall. And uh, we, we were going to get the new perfume that, well, it's called Vanilla Sunshine, and, and well, my credit card got denied, so, so, she paid for me, and then she proceeded to tell me that, that I rely on others too much, and that I need to get a job, and I didn't appreciate her saying that, so, we were just in a fight for the rest of the night, and it was, that was it, we just went home like that. You said you were in a fight? Yeah. Yeah. I think you need to come with us. Why? I didn't do it! Do you guys think I did this? Oh my gosh, I didn't do it! What? What? Oh my god! We found this phone proving that you were with the victim the night she was murdered. We also picked up this receipt from your house. I, I told you guys that I was with her. I, I'm not hiding anything. What happened after your fight at Bath and Body Works? I just dropped her off at her house. Well, right now, you're the prime suspect in this investigation. I didn't do anything. Unless you can give us someone else who would have motivation for this murder. She wasn't, she didn't really have any other friends besides her boyfriend, Jonathan. Can you tell us more about this Jonathan guy? Well, I didn't really know him that well, but from what she told me, he had a rough childhood, but I mean, he seemed like a nice guy. Well, you're free to go for now, but we'll be calling you later. <sighs> Fine. Guys, I think we've got our killer. What do you think the murder weapon was? I don't know, it looks like cuts to the face. Lance, do you smell that? Yeah, it's vanilla sunshine. Don't you remember smelling that on the other body? Yeah. Do you think it has something to do with the murders? For sure. Let's go tell the other detective. All right. Guys, Ratignol can't be the killer because she's dead. Well, how do you know she didn't commit suicide or that she was killed by the same person? Well, the marks and blood on her body indicate there was no way she could have done that to herself. And there was, the marks were identical to the last victim. So, team, any ideas of who the killer is? What about Jonathan, Edna's boyfriend? Jonathan was the only other person that had a good relationship with them both. Okay, let's look into it. Look for motive, people. Okay, Jonathan Stevens is 23 years old, he lives alone, and he works at a scissors factory. I typed in his parents' names online, and there's an obituary for his father. Sounds like a drug overdose. This was only when he was two. 
but his mother lost custody of him around 13, which means that she was his primary care up until the age of 13. A while back, there was an investigation into his mother for abuse, but they couldn't prove it, so the case was dropped. Okay. Everybody remember Harlow? Harry Harlow conducted a study where he took baby monkeys from their mothers and raised them with a fake monkey mother. They had no affection from their mothers, and thus they didn't get the bonding experience because the dummy mother cannot give off the hormone, hormone oxytocin to the child. The monkeys in the study grew up to be aggressive, and they even killed their young. This stuff, study is often related to abusive relationships, so it makes sense that if Jonathan was abused by his mother, then he would be aggressive as an adult. But why would it, this aggression behavior start now? Maybe we should go talk to him. I'll bring the car around. Mother? Jonathan? You have done this to me. I've killed two girls because of you. It all ends here. You can't hurt me, boy. I can hurt you if I want to. I raised I you. will kill you! Detectives, come in! She's dead. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You're coming with us. Okay, detectives. Remember how we found the perfume on the last two victims? This was found inside the mother's house. Vanilla sunshine. The, the, there's a study that correlates to this, conducted by Hertz and colleagues about ten years ago, called Neuroimaging Evidence for the Emotional Potency of Odor, Evoked Memory. This determined that there was a correlation between the emotional intensity of a memory and a smell. The findings provide convincing neurobi neurobiological evidence that the subjective experience of the emotional potency of odor evoked memory is correlated with a specific activation in the amygdala during recall and offers new insights into the effective organization of memory. And, and in, in English? English? Jonathan connects the perfume smell to the memories of his abusive mother from his past. Let's go talk to him. Detectives, I'll meet you inside. I have some paperwork to grab. So you like this review? All right. Yeah, that's good. Wait, are you actually filming? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, I'm right just talking to you. What's going on in here, guys? Logan has... Oh, no, it's not... His name's not Logan. Oh! <laughs> 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 Get it together, <laughs> Jesus! There we go. That's how you get into character. Okay. Pinch the back of your neck. I'm pinching my skin! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> I got this. this up to my mouth and then Eric will come in with the scissors. You're gonna die! <laughs>
Let's hit the like a train on a train.